How many proper subsets does any given set have? If a set is infinite, then it has infinitely many subsets and infinitely many proper subsets. So we're talking about finite sets. This is a viewer requested video. Always appreciate those viewer requests. Be sure to leave yours down in the comments. So how many proper subsets does a finite set have? In order to answer this question, all we really need to do is find the total number of subsets that any set has. We also want to know the number of improper subsets any set has. Then, if we subtract the number of improper subsets from the total number of subsets, all that will remain is the number of proper subsets. Recall that given a set A, a proper subset of A is a subset of A not equal to A. I'll say that once more. For any set A, a proper subset of A is a subset of A that isn't equal to A. So, for example, if we call the set on screen A, then the set containing 1 and 2 is a proper subset of A. It's a subset that's not equal to A, whereas the set A itself is not a proper subset. Thus, if we have a subset S of some set A, we know that S is going to be a proper subset as long as S is not equal to A. So the one case where S would be an improper subset would be if S is equal to A. In other words, there's only one improper subset of any given set. That is, the set itself. A is an improper subset of A for any set A. So all that remains is to find the number of subsets that a set has, and a lot of you might already know how to figure that out. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson dedicated to explaining it, but we'll also go over the reasoning here. Now let's just get this stuff out of the way so we can quickly talk about finding the number of subsets. If we've got a set like this one here containing the elements 1, 2, and 3, let's call it A, how can we create a subset of A? Well, any subset of A can only contain elements of A by definition of subset. However, a subset doesn't have to contain any elements of A. Subsets are allowed to be empty. In other words, when crafting a subset, we can either choose to include or not include each element in the original set. We've got two choices for each of its elements. And we can visualize this with a sort of quick decision tree. If we were making a subset of A, we could choose to include or not include one. So we might include one, or we might not include one, in which case we'd have an empty set. Then for each of our two choices for that one element, we have another two choices. We could include or not include two. So maybe we include two with one, then we've got a set that has one and two, or we could not include two with one, in which case we just have one. Or maybe we didn't choose one, so we have an empty set, but then we do choose to include two. Or maybe we didn't choose to include one, so we have an empty set, and we didn't choose to include two, so we still have an empty set. Point is, for our first element, you can see we have two choices, and for each of those choices, we have another two choices, and the pattern will continue. So we've got two choices for the first element, and for each of those two choices, we've got two choices for the next, and so on for larger sets. So for any finite set S, the number of subsets of S is equal to 2 to the power of the cardinality of S, the number of elements that it has. If you're familiar with power sets, you'll notice that this is, of course, the cardinality of the power set of S because the power set contains all of S's subsets. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson on power sets as well. Now we can go back and answer our original question. To find the number of proper subsets that a set has, we just need to subtract the number of non-proper subsets from the total number of subsets. The total number of improper subsets that any set has is 1. And the total number of subsets that any set has is 2 to the power of the set's cardinality. Let's just say cardinality of S for a generic set S. And so our final answer, the total number of proper subsets that a finite set has, is 2 to the power of its cardinality minus 1. We just count up all the subsets and subtract the one improper subset, which is this set itself. I should mention it doesn't seem very common, but some people define a proper subset to be a subset that's not equal to the original set and that isn't empty. 
In that case, every non-empty set would have two improper subsets, the empty set and the original set itself. And in that case, we'd have to modify this formula to 2 to the power of the cardinality of s minus 2. And this would give us the number of proper subsets of a finite non-empty set. Now on the other hand, for the empty set, it doesn't have two improper subsets to be subtracted. Its only subset is itself, which is an improper subset. So the number of proper subsets the empty set has will always be zero. But in my experience, it's most common that a proper subset is any subset not equal to the original set. So I'll rewrite our original formula. The number of proper subsets that a finite set has is 2 to the power of its cardinality minus 1. Note that this works for the empty set as well, because the cardinality of the empty set is 0, 2 to the power of 0 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0, which is indeed the number of proper subsets that the empty set has. And if a set is infinite, then it's going to have infinitely many subsets and infinitely many proper subsets. So I hope this video helped you understand how to find the number of proper subsets of any given set. Just for an example, to wrap things up, how many proper subsets does our set A have? Well, the cardinality of A is 3, so we know it has 2 to the power of 3 total subsets. Subtract the set A from that count because it's an improper subset of itself, and this is equal to 8 minus 1, or 7. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Links to his music in the description. Better calm myself from aging quickly